Hey, what is up guys? As you can see in this very poor lighting of a hotel room, I am on location. I am obviously not in my tiny little apartment. I am in this hotel room. So I just jacked up all the lights in here and hey, let's see. Looks good from what I can see, but let's see when I'm editing this. So I went onto Facebook and asked you guys um, some more for some more questions and um, this is kind of also trickling over from the last time because um, I got some questions after I had posted that video so I might as well answer those as well as some of the ones that I got here and it's a lot of questions so hey I like the questions you keep asking them I'm gonna keep answering them I'd love to do this so let's get going favorite food um, my favorite food I would have to say is I mean, it's hard to tell because I mean, it's hard to say because I'm I'm a foodie, man. I love food. So to say like to specifically put one thing and say like that's my absolute favorite and then I can eat all the time, it's kind of difficult. But I would probably have to say burritos, especially carne asada, like steak burritos, oh, with extra sour cream, crema. Oh man, I can eat that for days. Like I, I want to never get tired of it. So. Um, Favorite after school snack growing up? And then after work snack now. Okay, so my favorite after school snack growing up was a lot of 90s, y'all you, you, know, y'all know. I mean, it, I, I would eat this as a snack, and I, sometimes, I mean, I'll have it for lunch, but I, this was always a good snack, uh, Lunchables. Especially the pizza ones, you know, the, the, the little round little like soft pizza discs where you can put the sauce in and pepperoni. Oh man, that's that's good snack food even now, but I don't have it now, but that's, oh, that's, to me that's my favorite after school snack. Um, my favorite after, uh, after work snack is probably gummies, any type of gummies, so like gummy bears, gummy sharks, um, gummy fruit, gummy anything, like I would just pop those in if you know and if I want to go the healthier route it's probably grapes so but that's my I mean like I said I'm a foodie I like a lot of stuff if you can change one thing in the world what would it be and why uh oh that's a good one um I would probably say it would probably be hunger like I for me because I am a foodie I mean sticking with the theme of things of the last few questions um I hate to see anybody go hungry um, I'm kind of like an old grandmother when it comes to that kind of stuff. But I, yeah, I, I would like to, I, I, I would like to change that. At least everybody has something to eat. Another question that was actually on my, uh, the last video I did was, and he, he admitted it was a late submission. Late submission. Is she fine too or five two? Uh, both. I mean, you could be five two and fine, you know? Five two and fine two, like I mean, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that, ladies. All right. Would you rather swim in a river? Okay. Would you rather swim in a river of snot or climb a mountain of maggots? I would probably climb a mountain of maggots because snot has all kinds of germs that I don't want to even deal with. I like to rock climb and I like to swim. So that's a difficult question for me, but snot is literally like you're swimming in something like germs and it's that's disgusting. Maggots, at least you could just like, whatever, and you, you get over it, you get to the top, you're done. You swim a river of snot, that's, that could be forever, that could be endless, so I probably would rather climb, but that's an odd question. Um, my all-time favorite pun. See, that's like the food question. I can't really decide because I make puns myself. Like I'm, I, I'm an original punster. Like I come up with them and I dish them out. Like I can come up with puns on my own. So it's really freaking hard to determine what is my favorite pun. Um, I would probably have to say it. it my, my, my favorite pun is actually a. Uh, it's a visual pun, and it's one that. A lot of people get mad about, but um, I really enjoy it and you may take a while to get it. So I'm going to post it here for maybe like 10 seconds or so, so that you can let it sink in a little bit. But if not, I'll tell you what it is after I put it up. So if you didn't get that, basically, it's too, I mean, you know what, I'm just gonna say anything. It's two taps, so double tap. 
get it. You you get it. And that's I, that's probably my favorite. And it's a visual pun, and it's so genius. Like, so it, it takes into account our culture, and it takes into account people's expectations, and just subverts them all. And that's like to me, that's stellar. Would you rather be covered in spiders and mosquitoes? Spiders. I don't. I mean, I'm not afraid of bugs. But I would rather have spiders that uh, obviously are probably not not poisonous just crawl over me and I could just go like this too, rather than going, you know, smacking myself all over because I have mosquitoes all over my body and I'm getting and I'm itching. Like no, to me, spiders is the way to go with that. Um, favorite Bible verse. My favorite Bible verse I would have to say is uh, it, well, it's what I was told is the center of the Bible. I don't know if that's actually true, but. It, I mean, it kind of makes sense because it's between the longest psalm and uh, the shortest psalm. And so it is uh, Psalm 118, 8, and it is, um, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than it is to trust in man. And I think that just is all-encompassing of what we as humanity and as you know, believers and Christians are to be. You know, to trust in God more than we are to trust in man. And I think that says a lot to today's culture, too. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give this person a shout out. So Daliana, homie, uh, she asked, "Why are you such an amazing person?" And can you shout me out in your next video? There you go, shout out, Daliana Soto. Gotcha, homie. That, there's there's a shout out. And why am I such an amazing person? I, I try. Um, I mean, I'm just me, basically. Um, if you think I'm amazing, that's fantastic. So I, I really do appreciate the love. So yeah, why are you so funny? I, Sometimes I don't think I'm so funny, but I mean a lot of people do so that's why I keep doing these videos That's why I keep cracking jokes. That's why you know my friends Laugh at what I say or do and you know, hey, I it, it, it's hard to tell you know because a lot of people are funny in this world and Hey, you know, you could just be funny. I don't know. It's it's just a gift or it's just something that's that that's in you So yeah, I mean hey, you can be funny too. Everybody can be funny. You know, just don't try too hard sometimes This is my sister out of all people and ask me one of three questions pick one of us four so I have so for, for those of you who don't know I have uh, four siblings so I have two brothers and two sisters so I love all my siblings obviously but to choose one of four siblings and that is oh my gosh I can't like I can't like see this is the this is, the, this is what siblings do like they make you choose and like this is my older sister uh, making me choose between my younger siblings but if I had to choose one of you guys say oh gosh or like there was a burning building and I'm the only one out and I have to save only one of you I would probably save my older sister the reason why is because she's a mother, so she needs to be there for her child, aka my niece. However, if it was just like in a lineup, if I were to choose one out of four, I'd probably choose my baby sister because she's my baby sister and I love her to death. That's pretty much it. That's why, um, yeah. Yep, I would choose my baby sister because she's my baby sister. You know, you gotta save the baby. Sorry, sorry, bros. Sorry, sorry. I, I love all of you, but you made me choose, so blame her, not me. Jenna. What? Say hi to the camera. Hello, camera. See, there's the answer to your question. She asked if I if she could be in a video with me. There, there she is. Say hi, everybody. Hello. Say hi. Hello, everybody. See you there, you're in, you're you're in a video. Are you happy? Yes. Thank okay, you. Okay. See, there you go. That that there's the answer. Which is better, In and Out or Wahlburgers? Okay. So, I'm from Midwest Chicago. There is no such thing as In and Out there. Okay. When I moved to Arizona and witnessed the wonder that was In and Out, I oh. It never go back, right? Like I will stay wherever In and Out is at. Wahlburgers is not like In and Out. In and Out, where it's fast food, Wahlburgers is like gourmet burger style, and you can find it in Vegas. If you, it's kind of like you can't really compare the two because they're so different. Wahlburgers is amazing, but In and Out is amazing for it being fast food. You get what I'm saying? 
So if I had to choose one, I would choose In and Out because it's quick, fast, and amazing. Could we one day make a video about puns using all 50 states? Not like I've already been thinking of them or anything. You know what? Absolutely. Yes, we absolutely can. Even if it's like a split screen, spring, a split. Even if it's like a split screen thing, and we're not like physically in the same spot, I will still talk. like. If it involves puns, I'm always down. You know, so like, like, like the gift that I sent. Absolutely. When can we finally meet in person? I, as for, for those of you who don't know, I have a lot of online friends that I haven't met in person, and um. It is a mission to try to meet at least a good chunk of them. So this person is in Portland, or, or not Portland, in, in Oregon. And um, yeah, uh, when, I don't know. Whenever I find myself up in Oregon, tr I really don't know. Hey, could be in the near future, hopefully soon. You know, hopefully sooner rather than later, I, I hope so. Even if I don't go up there, hey, you're always welcome in Arizona. Well, let's make it happen, let's make it happen. I just don't know what, we just gotta make it happen. <laughs> To pimp a butterfly or good kid mad city. So for those who don't know Kendrick Lamar, uh, he is a rapper, an artist, and yes, I do listen to hip hop. Um, and so yeah, Kendrick is actually one of my favorite uh, artists currently. And uh, I would probably say to pimp a butterfly, not because it's better than Mad City, but I feel like he was, he dived in deeper and talked a little bit more stuff and was just, he was just good in that one. Like that one just like, there were more songs that resonated with me and like struck me more into Pimp a Butterfly than it did with Matt's, uh, Good Kid, Mad City. Not that either were, was better than the other. Like they were both masterpieces, but that's Kendrick. So <laughs> yeah, I'd probably say to Pimp a Butterfly. What are my thoughts? It says, what are your thoughts on Stephen Furtick and or the Prosperity Gospel? Well, Stephen Furtick, uh, once you throw in the, I believe or Oh, this is what I think when it comes to the Bible. That's a red flag automatically because then you're inputting your own opinion onto what Scripture says instead of exegeting. Like I said in the Latin, in, in one of my last videos, is instead of taking it and absorbing and knowing what it actually is saying to you. Prosperity gospel, gospel. Yeah, that's what it is. It's, it's prosperity gospel is not a gospel. It is heresy, outright heresy. Any the Bible is does not teach you that. You, may, you are meant to make a lot of money. I mean, literally Jesus says, take your cross and follow me. Meaning signifying death. Whoever preaches that kind of thing, y'all need to really, really, really be wary of, 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 of you know, leading people astray because God will come for you and it's, it's not going to be pretty. Trust me. Why? <laughs> I keep getting this question. Um, because, you know what? I love you guys. I do it on all the love. I, I said that in the last video, but you know what? Why? In all honesty, if I could have one, one dessert for the rest of my life, would it, would it be pumpkin pie? Absolutely. I love pumpkin pie. Um, I, not pumpkin spice lattes or like pumpkin pie straight up even with a little bit of whipped cream like ah uh, like i can eat that all year round i don't need to it to be fall or winter to eat it like i'll eat it year round. like that's absolutely my favorite and yes it's a dessert it's absolutely my favorite and, and yep i will eat it every day if i had to uh absolute most favorite alien sci-fi movie so that's hard to say because i love star wars you guys, you guys, I think you guys got the idea of how much I love Star Wars. Um, so that's, I don't really count that as an alien sci-fi movie. It's a, a sci-fi movie that has aliens in it. So because of that, it's, I, I wouldn't really call it an alien sci-fi movie. Aliens is a really good alien sci-fi movie. However, it is not my absolute most favorite. My absolute most favorite, and it's because I'm a comedy person, is uh, Men in Black. Um, the movie's hilarious, but it's also very ingenious as well. Uh, the first one was great. The second one was eh, it could have been better, but the third one I thought like it came back to the four way of like being you know pretty pretty decent. And so I feel like Men in Black is a great example of like hey you can have an alien sci fi movie and not be so serious about it all the time and actually have some comical strength and uh, storytelling strength there as well. And hey. So anyway, that is all I have for today, guys. Once again, I am on location. Um, I will be for the next few 
videos this background won't be the same for the next few videos i can guarantee you that but um hey you know if you guys want to see around more of uh, uh where i'm at and i mean i mean i'll show you exactly where i'm at but you know if you want to see my activities going on um just follow my socials link in the district description description below my email for business inquiries once again videos graphic design photography stuff like i gave i just gave some lady my my freelance business card she's like i would love to do work with you i'm like sweet so yeah um i do work uh so yeah absolutely um so yeah just uh uh hit me up let me know what you guys want to see more of like comment subscribe share these videos if you're sharing them on social media that really really means a lot uh to get these videos out and up there um and i would really appreciate it if you guys did that for me and uh hey if you guys want to have more questions just ask and i'll probably put them in the next video but yeah that is all for i have for today so once again as always peace out peeps